stuff, Marvel Studios, Witches, Road, Special Presentation, Scarlet Witch, everything always has to say about this and check this out. What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Bremen, aka All Fires. Now I think we all know it was supposed to be left ambiguous whether or not Wanda Maximoff survived at the end of Multiverse of Madness. But good rule of thumb for Disney and Marvel, really any movies in these genres, if you don't actually see the death and body on screen, there's a good chance they survived. And considering so many plot leaks and rumors for future upcoming films like either Deadpool 3 or Avengers Secret Wars or King Dynasty, have featured the involvement of Wanda Maximoff either as a key character or a cameo, it seems pretty locked that she'll be back in the MCU and eventually. However, between now and then, there are two specific series in Agatha Coven of Chaos and now the heavily rumored special presentation of The Witch's Road, which sort of felt like they would feature the return of Wanda Maximoff or at least go a long way in explaining what happened and where she's been. We're going to go ahead and break down all of the plot leaks and rumors. There have been a ton of them for what's going on with Aubrey Plaza's character, The Witch's Road special presentation, so many updates in the last two weeks from the trusted industry insider sources we covered here at the channel. We have a pretty clear picture of what's going on and while they may not feature the return of Wanda Maximoff in either of those series, they're definitely setting up the road, pun totally intended, for her to return. We're breaking it all down, the special presentation, which is Road, and the lead-in from Agatha Coven of Chaos. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to the occasional industry insider report, and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway, the next one is right around the corner to coincide with Loki. Again, all you gotta do is sub, leave a comment on this video if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so if this is your first time hearing about the Witches Road special presentation coming from Marvel Studios in connection to the Agatha Coven of Chaos series, when I mentioned during the prologue that some industry insiders have waited over the last two weeks, I wasn't kidding. My time to shine hello, can we get some toast, Alex Perez over at the Cosmic Circus, even Daniel Rickman RPK via his Patreon have all talked about this series. So so while Marvel Studios hasn't officially announced it, in the same way they haven't officially announced Wonder Man or the upcoming Vision series, you can go ahead and move this one from the rumor mill territory over to the just waiting on Marvel's announcement and confirmed in the meantime. Now in the comics, the Witch's Road is a plane of existence that only sorcerers can travel to, and I think this is no different than some of the other planes we've already seen in the MCU, say like the ancestral plane of Wakanda, right? You've got to be a Wakandan, you've got to either pass away or do the herb ritual, you get to go there, sometimes you get to come back, most times you don't, and I think the Witch's Road is going to be very similar to that in the MCU, and if true, this is most likely where Scarlet Witch is after we last saw her on Windigore Mountain at the end of Multiverse of Madness. Now, it doesn't show up a lot in the comics, but one of its primary features is during Scarlet Witch Volume 2, Number 4, that happens to be the cover and image that people are using all over the last couple of weeks for this update, in which the light synopsis reads, quote, in order to confront a new enemy, Scarlet Witch must journey to the magical realm called the Witch's Road. The path is full of dark surprises lurking around every corner. Wanda must keep her wits about her to survive. Now that foe who's behind it all is revealed to be Declan Dane, the Emerald Warlock, or rather he goes by Dan and some other names from Earth 616. What's interesting about this is Marvel Studios has now switched that character. That's who Aubrey Plaza will be playing, the Emerald Warlock. However, she'll be an Emerald Witch because Warlock refers to male witches, and she's going by a character name of Rio Vidal, which is not from the comics, just a made-up name for her character in substitute of Declan Dane. So obviously they're going to change some of the details here to adapt this story to fit whatever's going on in Agatha Coven of Chaos. Speaking of which, it's said that Agatha Coven of Chaos will actually come before The Witch's Road, but The Witch's Road will be a prequel of sorts, only getting released after. And I think that sort of reveals their intentions for the release slate. We know a lot of things are off the table next year because of the delays from this year. So perhaps Agatha Coven of Chaos, which was originally slated for the end of this year, will come out earlier next year on Disney Plus, and then we'll have this special presentation series during Halloween, much in the way that we had Werewolf by Night, which the latest update from Can We Get Some Toast is he said that this special presentation will draw on the success of Werewolf by Night and be exactly the same in the sense of what he put, quote, all killer, no filler, which means it'll be short, 45 minutes, much in the same way that Werewolf by Night was. And for the record, I think this is how they should prioritize telling a lot of these smaller side stories, say like a Norn Rad Silver Surfer presentation, don't need more than 45 minutes to an hour, and you can make it, again, a really compact, high-action series that's all plot, 
all moving forward with action and no filler episodes in the middle, which for me have really dragged down the Disney Plus shows. Now that being said, we also have an update, as I mentioned, from the Cosmic Circus and Alex Perez talking about what we should expect from the two series, Agatha Coven of Chaos, and then the upcoming Witch's Road, and this is what he had to say. Quote, here's what we've been told. Sources have informed us that Wanda Maximoff is currently in a dormant state at the end of Witch's Road. The Witch's Road is an alternate dimension within the borders of the known universe, similar to that of the Mirror Dimension or the Dark Dimension. According to sources, fans can expect this particular plane of existence to be first introduced in the upcoming Agatha Coven of Chaos series followed by a potential special based on the location, which would premiere following the conclusion of Coven of Chaos. This quote-unquote Witch's Road special, we've been told, would be similar to Werewolf by Night's special presentation in terms of tone and loose connectivity to the main MCU storyline. I should also mention that the Witch's Road does have ties to characters like Ulysses Bloodstone, who we saw his daughter Elsa Bloodstone recently in Werewolf by Night, so it could be tied to that same part of the universe. It already obviously is in size and scope of the supernatural, but maybe even more directly tied to those characters than, say, just setting up Scarlet Witch's return. But to imply that she'll be in a quote-unquote dormant state and there at the end of this, to me, sort of leaves the door wide open for who would need her services and as we head into the multiverse saga. And that's what makes me think that most recent rumor about her possibly working for Kane or with Kane, to me that tells me Kane may be looking for her, that this has actually been tied together much better than we thought since the beginning, and with her unique ability to travel across the multiverse with the Dark Folds power, something different than say America Chavez who can open up a portal and go there herself. The dream walking ability I think is going to be extremely, extremely useful to Kane, and this is just my theory, and so that's why I think sort of bringing her back and having her in a dormant state leaves a door open for the possibilities in the future of the MCU. But, as it was explicitly said during this article and most other updates from every industry insider who's mentioned this, is that Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff, Elizabeth Olsen, while mentioned during these series, will not physically appear. She's not in either of the shows, much in the same way as that she wouldn't be in Deadpool 3 either. And guys, this just comes down to the fact that she currently doesn't have a contract with Marvel Studios. Unless there's a secret one that was worked on before the strike or something that hasn't been reported, she's not under contract with them. There are no immediate plans in this coming directly from her to return from anything upcoming. Does that mean she's not coming back? Absolutely not. She will be back. You can count on that just when and how don't expect to see her in either of these series, even though it seems like that special presentation, which is Road, is setting up her return. She just won't be in it. It'll all be about how she will come back, though. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. If you're hyped for this series at all, or the special presentation, I think special presentations are definitely the way to go. Werewolf by Night is one of my favorite things on Disney Plus from Marvel Studios, so if it's gonna be anything like that, in size and shape and tone, I'm all for it, and we can imagine via all these updates, this is going to be in the next Marvel announcement and come out sometime around Halloween, question mark, next year. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we are still giving away PlayStation 5s here at the channel. The next giveaway is Loki's Finale, which is just a couple of months away. We'll also be giving away PlayStation 5s for the release of the Marvels in November, assuming that still comes out, and when Echo drops on Disney+. Plus. So there's at least three before the end of the year. It's heavily rumored that What If might come out in December as well. That would be four. So if you want to be entered to win or for any of the future giveaways, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. Best way to keep up the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter, at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, under the name AllFires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking my channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real soon. Subscribe, like this video. Have a great day. and see you guys. Bye.